Hey, this is a quick lesson on how to create a bubble wand using images from the internet or images that you create on your own um, that are converted to SVG files. So first step, log into uh, Tinkercad. So you log into Tinkercad, you'll have your dashboard. Click on create new design. And here's your work plane. And I like to start off creating the sticks. So here's, I use the cylinder. So I drag the cylinder and I click the corner and I'm just gonna change this to 10, 10 by 100. That's my base. And you know, when it comes to printing, um, I could adjust the size if it's way too big, but I just like to work with that size. So I'm gonna then click my mouse on the top so I could change the direction. And I'm going to right there, third time to try. So I want 90 degrees and then I touch D or drop to drop it to the work plane, okay. And then I'm going to rotate it again, another 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it to the side. Now I can duplicate this so that I have a set if I want to. So I just, I'll have three for now. Okay, so now I want to, that's the base. Now I need to create the part where I blow out of. So um, one way to do this is to search an image on Google Images. So I'm going to search dinosaur. I'm going to search for outline because I only need the outline of a dinosaur. And then for tools, I'm going to see if I can find one that has Creative Commons license. And I want a nice outline, a nice silhouette. Oh, that's another word we could use, silhouette. And let me use, I like this raptor. So I'm going to save it. And good, it's a PNG, that's a great, I either want PNG or JPEG. Um, I don't want any other format. So I'm gonna hit save. But ideally pick a PNG, those are higher qualities. And then I already have it here, but it's conversio.co forward slash PNG dash SVG. And I'm going to convert this to an SVG because that's the file that Tinkercad recognizes. So I'm going to drag this over here. And double check. Yes, yes, convert. Then I'm going to download it. And this is Dino. I cannot spell silhouette without some help. So I'll put Dino outline. Dino SVG, that's better. Dino SVG. I know what I'm working with. And then I'm going to go back to Tinkercad. So I go back here. I'm going to go to import. This window pops up. And conveniently, my, my file is there. If I didn't have it there, I'd, I'd go click on search, choose a file. Drag it here. Looks good in the preview. I want to make sure it's on artboard. Yep, yep. Import. And there it is. All right. So it's a little big. I'm going to click on this. And I'm just going to make this 80 by 80. I'll check the height. The height's 10, just like the height of uh, the stick. So it's still selected. I'm going to use my um, keyboard to move it because I don't trust myself with the mouse. A lot of times when I try to move things with the mouse, I end up changing the angles and I don't even want to do with that. So I use the keyboard. 
So, okay, so I'm gonna use one stick. And I'm moving that with the keyboard as well. I'm gonna drag a box. I'm gonna use this outline. No, I'm sorry, a line, a line tool. Click on that, I'm gonna align it in the center. And that's just, that's just a guide. And so even, so I'm eyeballing it. And I think even though it's centered, uh, I think it looks weird there. So I'm gonna use the keyboard, shortcut. I'm gonna think about this a little bit more. I think I might move it down a little bit. So I select that stick again. Maybe I move it down. It looks like it's gonna penetrate. I am only using my eyes for this. And if I touch, I'm using a, a mouse, a two button mouse with a scroll. If I touch the scroll, I'm holding down the scroll part and I move down, that lets me see the, the work plane. I can move the work plane. So I'm gonna see the perspective here. So yeah, it looks good. I mean, it'll work. I can always move it more if I don't like it um, here. So what I'm gonna do, um, I am going to select both of these and then I'm going to group them. And maybe just for fun, I'm gonna change the color. Okay, so that is my bubble wand. And I can always adjust the size here. So let me go back to the original, okay. So move, I'm going to move that to the side. Oh, I'll actually move that. Just went out of the way. I'm going to move it up. Just need to remember to bring it back down when I'm done. All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you another way. So there is this website called AutoDraw. So AutoDraw is pretty neat because um, it will uses um, artificial intelligence to try to figure out what you're drawing. So I'm going to try and draw a cat and I hope it will recognize it and I like that one okay that'll work for me or well those three dots won't really work well let's try this one that's a better one Okay, so I like that one. Hit select. A little bigger. That works for me. Okay, so now I'm going to save the image. I right clicked and I put cat. Put the PNG, that's great. That's the file I like the best. And I go back to my Conversio website to convert this. And I'm going to drag, I spoke too soon. I'm gonna convert more files. And then I'm gonna drag this over. So it's PNG, and then I'm going to go to image, SVG. Looks good, hit convert. All right, download it. Cat SVG, just to help me differentiate between the different cats I have. And then I'm gonna go back to my design here. I'm gonna to go to import. I am going to drag the cat SVG over. Okay, so it's too big. So I'm gonna try 1,000. Let's see if it looks weird. Nope, looks like, oh, it's being too. Okay, so we're gonna select it. And then, eighty by 80. Enter. I'm going to use my cursor. 
Not my cursor, my arrow keys. Okay, so moving that down. And I'm moving this over. And then I'm going to drag a box to select both. I'm going to use the align tool. And I'm going to select that, the base again, and I'm using the arrow keys to move it down. Now, that doesn't bother me too much. I like that. But if you prefer it more, um, you know, to the left and between the legs, go for it. I am fine with that. Um, where it is. So I am going to drag a box and I'm going to group it together so that it's one piece. I'm going to change it back to pink because I like that color. Mm, is it dark pink? Nope, I like the lighter pink. Okay, so we'll go there. And then let me bring this one down. I'll delete this since I'm not going to, I only have enough room for two. All right. I probably could use a line piece for that. So that's just, so that is my design. And so always remember to name it, you know, Dremel, uh, sorry, Tinkercad always provides a name, but um, put your name, bubble wand, however you want to name it, usually last name, first name, bubble wand, number one and two, pound will work okay so you just name it you have it there you're good to go um you could also then export it as an stl because that's the file that you'll need um, to print it so and working with the printer that you have and so when it's an stl file it's going to look like this so there's no color with STL because it depends on the filament that you're using. Um, if you wanted to collaborate with somebody, you could click on invite people to design with you and then it'll create a new link. You could copy that link and then send it to that person via email or post it somewhere where they could access it. And it's just like Google Documents they you're giving them permission to edit your design or add to it so you're giving them the ability to change things um, so that's really great if you're trying to collaborate so those are the two ways that you could share the design later either through exporting it or um, sending the link but remember that you're giving them permission to make changes when you do that okay well that was my lesson for today and i hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much.